Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we will learn how to connect a micro USB connector on a broken USB cable or a charger. So here I have a bunch of uh, micro USB connectors that I bought from AliExpress. Uh, so they came in uh, four pieces. You get the main connector, the outer body and the face plate and the back cover for the connector. So I bought about 100 of these, 50 black and 50 white. So here is the uh, main body which goes on which is basically the outer casing and here are the main connectors. Let me just open that. There you go. So here are the connectors. As you can see on one side there are three solder points and on the other side there are two solder points. Now before we start this video, uh, uh, I should tell you that these are not very good quality connectors. Uh, in the pictures they looked very good quality and while holding in my hand they also looked very good quality but when I started soldering them. Uh, the plastic was melting very rapidly so the built plastic the plastic that is used uh, in this connector is not very good quality also the solder pads uh, when I soldered the wire and try to pull the wire to make sure whether the connection is made or not the solder pads were bending upwards so the material that is used is very thin on the solder pads so they are easily bending upwards or downwards and finally the most important thing is the fit of these connectors so I tried the Xiaomi phone uh, Samsung phones and uh, Nokia phone with this connector and I'm having trouble uh, fitting this connector in in the phones it is fitting alright but uh, you don't get that satisfying feel uh, when you try to fit a micro USB connector in a phone at the end you feel a bump and you feel like the cable is in place so it doesn't happen with these connectors it's more like a friction fit and it's fitting very tight so it's it feels like that it is scraping inside uh, of your phone and after a prolonged use uh, it may damage your phone charging port which may cost you 500 to 1000 rupees and depending or more depending upon how expensive your phone is so my advice would be to just replace the whole cable or if the wire is attached directly to your charger uh, just replace the whole charger uh, it's not worth uh, taking risk with such cheap connectors however if I come across some good quality connectors I will let you know in the future videos so with that said let's jump into the main part of this video of how to solder these connectors on a cable so here is the connector now you want to hold the connector such that the connection part connecting part is uh, facing away from you so at the back you can see on one side there are three solder points and if you flip this over you can see that there are two solder points now let's take a broken micro usb cable and here is the broken micro usb cable so here is a broken usb cable on one side there is the normal standard USB 2.0 connector this connects to your computer or your charger and on the other side of the cable we have four wires so if we separate all the wires you can see that one of them is a red wire and one of them is a black wire one of them is a white wire and one of them is a green wire so there you will see that there are four such wires at the end of your USB cable. So let me just draw a simple diagram which will help you understand how to connect these wires. So if you hold the connector in such a way that you can see the three solder points. Let's draw the connector like this. So here is your connector. Sorry, mind my drawing because I'm not a very good drawing expert. So here are three solder pads, and let's and now if we flip 
this connector on the other side we can see that there are two solder points so let's draw them as well so here is the flipped side of our connector looking much better this time and there are two solder pads on the other side now what we want to do is we basically want to connect take the green wire out of the your four wires take the green wire and we we want to solder that to the middle connector here so this connector this point is soldered with a green wire green and this is your data positive wire data positive now if you see there is this left connector left solder point this left solder point is connected to the your black wire black and black wire is your neutral 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 or also negative wire and only pad that is left to solder is this the rightmost tab and this is your red connection red wire red wire and it is your it is the 5 volt positive wire now on the other side if we flip the connector we have two solder points there are two solder points now because we've already used up the uh, black wire the green wire goes to the middle the black wire goes to the leftmost terminal and the red wire goes to the rightmost terminal and the only wire that is left is the white wire and if we flip the connector so that we can see the two solder points this point is soldered with a white wire and this is your data negative data negative wire and that's how you solder the micro USB connector so let's quickly review that so there are four wires in your broken USB cable out of which the you will solder the green wire to the middle uh, solder point of the three you will solder the red wire the red wire to the rightmost solder point and you will solder the black wire here to the focus to the leftmost solder point and then you flip the connector and the only wire that is left to solder is the white wire white wire and you will solder that to the left terminal when you flip the connector which is your data negative wire and that's how you connect a micro USB cable if your uh, wire has only two wires which are going to be mainly red and black you simply have to solder the red wire to the rightmost terminal and black wire to the leftmost terminal and that's basically your charging cable and that cable is not going to be used for syncing your phone to your computer so that's how you do it and let me just show you how to solder this so here is my 25 watt soldering iron as you can see it's heating up uh, i'm figuring out how to shoot the video and solder at the same time so this is turning out to be really difficult so let me just finish soldering i've already told you how to solder uh, which wire goes on which terminal so let me just finish soldering and i will show you the final product so guys i've soldered the connector uh, as i've told you previously a uh, very terrible quality of connectors you can probably tell that uh, some of the plastic is melt because of soldering so let's look at it again so the middle solder point is connected with green wire the leftmost connector leftmost terminal is connected with the black wire as you can see in the diagram and the rightmost connector is connected with the red wire and when you flip it up you can see there are two shoulder points and the white wire is connected to the left terminal as you can see here 
so let's quickly connect this to my computer and verify whether this cable is working or not so here is my computer it's a very old computer it's still running Pentium dual core and let's connect the wire and on the other hand let's connect a phone so here is a Samsung Z1 phone and let's connect it so here is the micro USB cable and here is your charging port so let me just connect it and I have connected it and as you can see I'm sorry I'm still using a CRT monitor now Samsung Z1 connected and let's just open it and we can see the drive on top as well so it's working as a sync cable and let's check on the phone we're getting the charging logo and it's at 93 percent charge so the cable is working although i don't recommend these connectors because uh, you can probably see uh, yeah. during soldering the plastic is melting because of the solder so not very good quality connector with that said this brings us to the end of this video i hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.